This is Whirl Brothers Restaurant and Lounge on the Strip in Virginia Beach, one of the area's most popular watering holes, but not for military personnel. Since 1977, Whirl Brothers has been off limits to servicemen and women because a military board says it refuses to serve Marines. Captain Vernon Bush, president of the Armed Forces Disciplinary Control Board, says discrimination against military personnel is only one of the reasons a business can be declared off limits. The main reason we have uh, is unscrupulous business practices, uh, also discrimination, uh, racial discrimination, or, uh, for example, discrimination against any certain any category of personnel it does not necessarily have to be racial. Uh, prostitution, that sort of thing, uh, which is not a problem these days, really. Uh, improper conduct and uh, disorder, uh, a house, a, a bar, for instance, let's say, that uh, was continually having fights and disturbances, uh, that would be put off limits because it's uh, very bad for the uh, well-being of our people. In 1976, the board declared the Northampton Country Club and Cape Charles off limits because it allegedly discriminates against blacks. And Captain Bush says once an establishment is declared off limits, a serviceman can be punished for patronizing it. We have people that uh, periodically check to see if military personnel are uh, going into these establishments. And if we find one, and this is not a vendetta really, uh, Normally, the shore patrol would apprehend him and return him to his command with a report to his commanding officer that he has violated a, uh, an order of the Commandant of the 5th Naval District, which is well published, and uh, then it will be left to the hands of the commanding officer. I Bush says the board doesn't go looking for trouble, but one place it found it was at Independence Automotive in Virginia Beach. After receiving several complaints about unscrupulous business practices, the board put Independence off limits in July. The auto repair shop has since closed. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News.